Chilean ex-president Sebastian Panera died in a helicopter crash on Tuesday, February 6th, age 74 years old. He leaves behind a mixed legacy in the South American country that has drawn both praise and criticism. The helicopter carrying Panera and three others plunged into a lake in southern Chile. The former president was pronounced dead shortly after rescue personnel arrived at the scene. The other three passengers survived. The son of a prominent centrist politician, Panera was a Harvard-trained economist who made his fortune introducing credit cards to Chile in the 1980s. He was also a major shareholder in the flagship airline formerly known as LAN, local soccer team Colo Colo, and a television station, although he sold most of those holdings when he took over the presidency in March 2010. As of 2024, he was ranked 1176 on Forbes's global rich list with a net worth of $2.7 billion. Running for election to the presidency after a spell as a center-right senator, he wooed moderate voters by portraying himself as the leader of a new right and an entrepreneur who made his fortune with hard work. He lost his first attempt at the top job in 2005 to popular center-left leader Michelle Bachelet, but she was barred constitutionally from running for a second consecutive term and in 2009, he beat ex-president Eduardo Frey by a small margin. That ended the 20-year rule of the center-left and fended off the bitter memories of Pinochet's bloody dictatorship that had hurt the right in past elections. His honeymoon with the electorate was short-lived, though, and his stiff manner contrasted with the more amiable Bachelet, who both preceded and succeeded him as president. Despite plaudits for his government's economic record, many Chileans felt he did not do enough to tackle deep inequality or address inadequacies in the country's education system. Both his presidencies were marred by frequent protests of students demanding education reform in the first term and of wider and often violent protests against inequality in his second term that ended with the government promising to draft a new constitution. Panera was perhaps best known abroad for his role overseeing the spectacular rescue in 2010 of 33 miners who were trapped underneath the Atacama Desert. The event became a global media sensation and was the subject of a 2014 movie, The 33. After leaving the presidency, Panera remained active in politics, speaking out on issues like the attempt to draft a new constitution, which ultimately failed and backing conservative politicians in the region, including Argentine President Javier Millet.